Carrie, and I'm a brand evangelist and customer advocate here at Helium 10. Today, I have some very exciting news for you because I'm going to show you a tool that so many of you have been asking for for quite some time. Without this tool, so many people have been just flying blind without the information that they need to make good decisions for their e-commerce businesses. So today, I'm super excited to let you know that I'm going to show you our new tool, X-Ray for Walmart. With X-Ray for Walmart, you're going to be able to see sales revenues and so much more information that's going to give you the tools that you need, tools and information that you need to make the right decisions for your e-commerce business. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my screen and let's take a look. So as you can see, I'm on walmart.com and I've actually already done a search for you for standing mirror. And this is the search results page, much like you would do on amazon.com. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the extension icon up at the right hand corner to pull our Walmart extension for this keyword. So as you can see here, all the results show up just like they would on amazon.com. You've got all kinds of great information. So the first thing I always look at is the total revenue. So we've got the total revenue of this first page. We also have the average revenue, our average Amazon revenue, which is a unique thing to this particular Chrome extension because now on this page, you can actually compare your information to Amazon as well which is super helpful. You can see the average price on um, the average Amazon price and then the percentage of WFS project products and that is uh, Walmart free shipping or Walmart fulfillment services. So when I look at this average price on Amazon and Walmart, I've actually seen a lot of products that surprisingly are the same products but are maybe more expensive on walmart.com which was very interesting. So very interesting to see that the, the average price of this particular product is actually higher on walmart.com than on Amazon. Um, the percentage of WFS, this is really important because the more WFS people that you have on this, the more competitive it's gonna be because your ranking actually depends on your WFS at your fast shipping standard. So the faster you're shipping, the better you're gonna rank. So this is actually really good news to see this. There's 0% WFS, probably because it's a bigger product, but really good for anyone who wants to use Walmart fulfillment services and they can actually start to rank higher than a lot of these other uh, competitors. So if we take a look at these columns in here, they're very similar to that of the Amazon Chrome extension. So when I scroll over, I can see the title of the product, the brand name, the category, our product ID, and the product ID is pretty much the same as an ASIN, but for Walmart. So that's what we're using to identify the products. It's the last nine digits on the URL on when you're actually on the product page. And you can actually also just copy this number right here and use it for Cerebro for Walmart, which I will show you at another time. Uh, you can see the UPC code right there, the price, the, the ratings, so the reviews and how many review count. And you can see right here how few reviews there are actually on walmart.com. So there, the average number of reviews on many of the searches I've done are much, much lower on walmart.com. Also shows you how many images those have. So you can see how well optimized your competitors are. Um, Walmart number of sales. So this is key right here. We've got the number of units sold and we've got the Walmart revenue, which is pretty exciting information here. So this will help you to determine, you know, how much competition you have and also how much opportunity you have. So it looks like there's quite a bit of opportunity in here and there's some dominant sellers in here that are making quite a bit of Walmart revenue. Um, we scroll over and you can actually see the ASIN if we're able to find it on amazon.com. So you can actually take a look at the listing there, see how much they're selling on Amazon. Um, you can see the price on Amazon, the Amazon total revenue, this Amazon sales, Amazon sales graphic. And the reason why we have all this information is because we've actually heard from a lot of sellers that they like to compare all of that information to Amazon. And it makes it a lot easier when it's all in one place right here on the Chrome extension. Another thing that I really like is it shows if something is in store or it ha um, so basically are you you know competing with things that are in store pickup and delivery the rich media is also a great one rich media is basically um, enhanced content or a plus content on amazon.com so it's your videos and that extra content is called rich media on walmart next to eligible shipping now this is also important because the more you know quick shipping that your competitors have the more competitive it's going to be but it looks like a lot of these do not offer that quick shipping so that's some a definite opportunity right here. Um, gift eligible, whether or not that's usually something that's in the stores and usually a one P seller. Um, seller type, I love that they show this if it's a one P or a three P seller. Um, 
Then this last part is the listing scores. And I'll actually show you how to dive more into this in just a second, but it gives you a good overview of the listing scores broken down by the content score, the offer score, and the rating score. So all of those combined give you a listing quality score. Now this isn't the exact one that you would find on Walmart Seller Center, but it is um, something that we use to kind of measure best practices to see if these competitors are actually following the best practices that are outlined by Walmart. So that's how we come up with that information. You can do filter results just like normal. You can filter all these different things. Uh, you can also change which columns you want to see. So if there's some columns on here that you're like, I don't need to see that, you can just uncheck them and they won't show up. So you can see only the most important information for you at that time, which makes it a lot easier. So um, I love that part. You can also download the CSV. So awesome and right there just to help you get all that stuff in, in an Excel sheet if you want it. And then the next thing I want to do is show you um, what this looks like, what the extension looks like when you're actually on a listing. So I'm going to actually close this and I'm going to click in this. Okay. When we click on this listing, it's an actual listing up here at the top. This is the number that I was telling you about the nine digit number. That's the product ID that I was showing you in the extension. And then right here we have this score breakdown. This is super helpful. The listing quality score. Again, it's not it's not going to be the exact thing that they show you in Walmart Seller Center, but we're basing this on best practices and it should show you a lot of really good information um, that you can utilize to kind of analyze your competition. So if this seller is selling a ton, you can see what their scores are for every different little thing and where you might be able to beat them. So as you can see, they don't have expedited or free shipping. Their price is also not very competitive. So you can come in and beat them in this area. Content and discoverability, it looks like they've done a pretty good job, but there are some areas of improvement you can take a look at there. And then also ratings and reviews. So um, you can take a look at that and see if you can beat out the competition with these little, um, these different points of information right here. So there's so much information that you can get on X-Ray for Walmart, and it's gonna help so many sellers to be able to make good decision based on all of this data. So we hope that you love this extension as much as we do. Thanks so much.